As we know how to differentiate functions that have multiple variables and uh, that situation calls for partial differentiation, we can apply this mathematical tool on economic situations. For example, here we are considering a situation where we are talking about a fishery. And in fishery, as we know, there is production of fishes. Uh, we are trying to uh, nurture and get them reproduced so that we have more fishes which can be commercially sold and definitely a production unit is here. As the production unit is here, we are talking about a possibility of a production function. So if we are to do the marginal analysis of this production function, which can be suitably called as fishery production function, we can follow these steps. And here we are given a numerical example which will make us uh, or enable us to understand it in a more in-depth way. So let's talk about it. Here we are talking about uh, an estimated production function for a certain lobster fishery. So a certain uh, sea creature is being uh, nurtured here and reproduced in this uh, fishery and the production function is definitely estimated and you know that every production function or the functions that we use in economics they are estimated by using these statistical tools. So once if we have estimated the production function we can analyze it by using the differentiation here you can see the output of the fishery is represented with F and S and E are the two inputs that we will talk about as we go ahead and it is precisely equal to this equation. Here you can see there are some uh, power terms here. We have powers of S and E. So in this kind of situation we are going to follow the same rules that we have learnt but this time it is not the ordinary differentiation, it is partial differentiation. So let's talk about what is represented by S. It is the stock of lobsters and E is the effort. So the effort that we put in and the existing number of stock or, or the existing number or the stock of lobster, lobsters is going to determine the output of the fishery and F is the catch. So finally we will know that how many lobsters we have in this uh, fishery. So now we can calculate the marginal product of these two inputs that is the marginal product with respect to stock of the lobsters and the marginal product with respect to the effort that we give in this fishery production unit. So definitely for marginal product we know that we have to differentiate the given function. This is the given function that we are trying to differentiate and definitely we have to differentiate it with respect to the variable that is there. And here we have two variables, two independent variables to be more precise, S and E. So primarily we are differentiating with respect to S and once we do this we will get this answer and I hope you can easily do this because this is differentiation however it comes with the partial sign instead of the usual D which is used in the ordinary differentiation. So we won't be using this, we will be using this because we have two independent variables S and E. So in case of S, the answer will be this, which I hope you can easily do. So this is a DIY for you, do it yourself. And MPS is here, which is the answer of the first differentiation. Now we can do the second differentiation by using the same tool, that is the partial differentiation. However, this time S will be kept constant. So by using the rules of differentiation where the power rule will be applied and the answer would be this. This you can verify by solving it yourself. Now 
we have the two required answers that is the marcel product of with respect to the stock of lobsters and the marcel product with respect to efforts so now we still don't have a numerical answer because if we have an overall numerical answer it would be easy to understand and interpret so at this stage we don't have the numerical answer because we do not know the precise values of s and e so if we know the values of the stock of the lobster and the effort that we are putting in no matter what units they have they are going to enable us to get the numerical answers of mps and mpe which will be more interpretable and in that situation the interpretation will be more comprehensible so now at least we are capable of doing marginal analysis of any production function that might have more than one independent variables that is more than one inputs we know about labor and capital but there are other inputs as well that are considered in various situations for example in literature we see that clem production functions are there in which labor capital both of them they exist as we see in the usual production functions but energy is considered as another input as well as we have materials that is the raw materials because they also have a substantial magnitude in a production process when it comes to industries that produce physical output so we can also do the marginal analysis of such production functions that appear with more than two independent variables or more than two factors of production so i hope this tool will help you to do the marginal analysis of any kind of production function thank you